Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. Tomorrow, February 6th, marks the 10th anniversary of a roof collapse at St. John's School in Hollywood after a blizzard smacked St. Mary's County. The Catholic school community referred to it as a blessing, although it caused major destruction and one casualty, the second grade fish. God had his hand in it, said Susan McDonough, who is now the principal of St. John's. The picture above shows Raymond Schmidt, pastor of St. John's Catholic Church and administrator of the school, standing in front of the part of St. John's School where the roof collapsed February 6, 2010, while holding a framed before and after picture. Sar Shaw, a senior at Great Mills High School, has self-published his own book titled Down to the Buzzer. He decided to make this book for his school's Minithon, a fundraiser started by Penn State University to help combat pediatric cancer. Students at Great Mills started their own chapter a couple years ago and joined the fight. The book, which was first published in October, is about a high schooler on a nationally ranked basketball team whose skills are noticed by the high-ranking colleges and analysts who predict him to be top NBA pick. Shaw said the book is trying to teach a lesson in humility. Some county parks will soon see updates and renovations to accommodate community needs, including new playground equipment, lighting, and sports fields. Last August, the St. Mary's County Commissioners approved three Maryland Department of Natural Resources program open space grants for the 2020 budget season. Funding for projects at Dorsey Park, Lexington Manor Passive Park, and Tropica Park have been approved by the Maryland Board of Public Works at, at Tuesday's meeting. The Commissioners approved the grant funding. The Board of Trustees on Saturday agreed to freeze tuition and other expenses for the next academic year at St. Mary's College of Maryland. The freeze will keep tuition, fees, room, and board for students who live in Maryland and Washington at roughly $30,000 and at about $45,000 for out-of-state students. The freeze is expected to save in-state students $3,000 over the course of four years and more than $4,000 for students from out of the state. Mike Wick, the college's provost, says that state says that St. Mary's College staff are developing a plan to reduce the gap and over time will make sure we stay affordable for Maryland families. Saturday at St. Mary's Riken High School, the Knights wrestling team claimed the program's first ever Washington Catholic Athletic Conference Tournament Team Championship. St. Mary's Riken head coach Philip Brown said, this is the first time in history that we've won this, so this is great. We couldn't have done it without the support here of the school being phenomenal from the administration to the athletic department. Inside the Donnie Williams Center, in its first year of existence, the Knights were able to host the event with all 10 WCAC schools competing in one-day tournaments. Riken, which finished the regular season at 19-2 overall and 8-0 in WCAC meets, claimed first place with 220.5 points. Friday's Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Chesapeake Division game at Great Mills marked the third time the Hornets squared off with Chopticon this season. Great Mills took control of the game early on and cruised to a 60-17 win over Chopticon pushing them to a perfect 17-0 overall in the season. We've been focusing on having more intense practices, Great Mills head coach Matt Wood said. I think it paid off a little bit. Yesterday was not our best practice, but for some reason today they certainly turned it up a notch for, from start to finish. Chopticon is scheduled to host Huntingtown at 6.30 tonight, while Great Mills is slated to be at Northern at 6 tonight. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's what we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Raymond Graham. And I'm James King, signing, signing off. off.